Wise Car fans, this is Jeroen from Rotterdam Wise Cars with yet another Rotterdam Wise Car Top 5 wishlist. Yes. We're back again. So, today it is Stag Day. Uh, the most amazing fashion is... The Baratheons, right? Exactly. For people who don't know me, I'm Thijs. Yes. And, uh, I asked uh, Jeroen to do another one of these, especially for him. Baratheons today, Top 5. Combined uh, top five wish list because uh, I didn't want to have any discussion with the mighty Borussian player Jeroen. Flixy Flixer, maybe. And <laughs> uh, yeah, and we also had some discussion beforehand, so it was a bit. Uh, yeah, it, it's a bit of hard faction to to go through a top five. We have noticed, and also because you have two factions within a faction, so we did a combined, combined, combined top five yeah. faction that we both sort of agreed on. Yeah. If you want to split out in a Renly or Stannis loyalty uh, top 5, do that in the comments. Post your top 5 uh, wishlist uh, as well, because we're really curious what you uh, come up with. And let's get started. Indeed, let's get started. Number 5. Okay, so uh, I will start first here, uh, because this is my faction. My true, true love. Claim the throne. Uh, exactly. Claim. So for number 5, we have chosen for Mako Seaworth. So uh, another Seaworth, uh, the third son. This would be out of the, the eight, right? Out of the eight, indeed. Yeah. Uh, would be the third son in the game. And we've chosen for Mathos because he's the only son uh, being seen on the TV series, but more especially due to the fact that he is the most fanatic son of Davos Seaworth following Ralor, so the, the Lord of Light, so to say. Yeah. Uh, we decided as well, due to that fact, uh, it would be really cool dynamics and everything in the game. So if you want to play with Melisandre or anything, uh, Mathos could bring. It's like a cool a kit. Yeah, and uh, I don't think we need all eight, but uh, yeah. at least three of them is really cool. And uh, I also believe that Mathos is, uh, yeah, the one that uh, that has a little edge over the others because of his velour uh, and fanaticism. And uh, yeah, it could be really cool. Exactly. I think that yeah, it it gives an another option. To play with uh, one more Seaworth or indeed uh, give you another yeah. cool mechanic in uh, Valor as well. You can also post your top five Seaworth uh, characters down below if you like. There are more to choose from, <laughs> but uh, that's a joke. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> are you ready for the next one? Uh, yeah, let's do the next one. Let's go to number, number four. four. So for number four, we actually have, we cheated again. We're, we're cheating no, this one. Okay. We're combining lists, we're combining factions, combining loyalties. Uh, it's actually two bastards, Edric Storm and Gendry. Yeah. Uh, Edric Storm, of course, uh, is one of the really cool characters because it's one of the only characters that could be both Stannis and Renly loyalty. Exactly. So I think that's already a unique selling point. Uh, Gendry, of course, because he's a little tr charmy fella uh, out of uh, out of the films. In the books, it's more focused on Edric Storm, I think. So uh, exactly. And it's the only. Uh, uh, acknowledged bastard from uh, Robert Baratheon. So, yeah, so yeah. for those not aware with Edric, because everyone knows Gendry, of course from the TV series, uh, Edric Storm is indeed one of the acknowledged bastards from King Robert. Um, at the beginning he's with on Renly's side, so he's been, uh, yeah, what is it, assisted by Courtney, Sir Courtney Penrose. Um, but when Courtney Penrose dies, uh, Edric is joining Stannis' side, or he's getting kidnapped or moved to Stannis' side. Um, and yeah, he's still there in the book skirt yeah. where we are. Um, and I think indeed what Ty said, it's a really cool mechanic because this means this character can be in both the uh, loyalties, so to say, uh, which can bring a really cool dynamic. Uh, we see, saw it with uh, one of the Martell characters as well. So as an extra attachment, so maybe Edric Storm can be something in that as well. That sounds fun as well, a little bit of crossover between uh, named characters or named units or named... Uh... Yeah, g giving maybe uh, something special, so uh, maybe the first character or attachment that has both uh, affiliations and giving an other cool bonus uh, and also the rule that you can put him in a unit where there is already a detachment in. So you yeah. can maybe you can put him next to Randy, next to Stannis, or next to Courtney Penrose, for example, uh, and he can give a really uh, easy ability. So not, really not, something, not, not something yeah. strong, but maybe something cool. Let's see. 
All right. Yeah. And go to the next one. Yeah. Let's go to number three. Three. I did a two though, but it's a three. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, my, my my two for this, but this is it became a three. So for number three, we've decided to choose for Randall Tarly. Yeah. Uh, Randall Tarly, of course, also uh, the Lord of uh, that house, uh, but also a really important character in the books and also in the TV series. Um, could also be the one that has an extra unit uh, of Tarly warriors. So uh, exactly, it would also be cool to have more affiliation uh, from Tarly. Yeah. Just like you have the Tullys and uh, you have the Clegane, and yeah. also the Tyrells, of course. So uh, it could be a cool one. It, that was especially why I want to include him in this army, because uh, I think as a really good example with the Starks, and Lannisters have, have it a little bit in Clegane, uh, but it would be really cool also to see a, a little bit more in the Baratheon faction. You see now currently only the Tyrells, uh, but the Tarlys, of course, yeah. are also like an Next to the Florence, of course, uh, uh, one of the major houses in the Stormlands would be really cool. And as Ty said, like it would be really nice to uh, get a unit of, uh, well, let's say Tarly Bowman, uh, for example, because yeah, they, they are, are rabbit, rabbit hunters. They are known to be uh, really good archers as well. And yeah. we're still missing a really good Baratheon archer unit. Yeah. Uh, but exception, of course, of the Ralor Lightbringers. Yeah. But this could be a really good arch unit for the Renly side, because Renly only as the Thornwatch, which is short range, uh, a long range unit would be fantastic in that. And we're that focusing on the lore in this series, so... Uh, yeah, I yeah, know, I, know, I know, I know. Good, 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 I know your Baratheon player side comes hey, up there, now we're done. Let, 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 let Maybe let move up to the next one. Uh, okay. Well, number, number two. two. Keeping with uh, the houses as a theme, um, and actually going back to one that's already involved in the, the Baratheons, is uh, Mace or Garland Tyrell. Okay. I think two more Tyrell characters or more Tyrell characters uh, could be doable, especially Mace, especially Garlon. Garlon, the brother of Loris, of course, and uh, Mace being the, yeah, the father of the, of the household. I think we're really miss missing the, these two characters for the Tyrell part of the Baratheons, uh, but could also be uh, involved in a, a separate faction of their own. But that's yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll explore later in a different video in this series. Exactly. Because if yeah. you've been watching so far, we're also going to do top 5 mini factions. Little exactly. spoiler for you and also for your loyalty watching after um, yes, yeah, already for uh, top top 5. So. Yeah, um, indeed. So it would be great to have a few extra commanders. I think indeed Mace for Garland is great. Uh, I would personally go for Garland uh, because he did most of the battles as well. I like Mace a little bit more, but I like his character. Yeah, uh, well, again, I think Mace would be a fantastic NC because he never went to battle except in the uh, commanding officer tent, as Olena Tyrell mentioned before. Yeah. So, another cool Tyrell and, uh, NC of you over there. Great experience. Exactly. Wanna go to the final uh, one? Yeah, yeah, this, this one should be... Yeah, let's go! No, no, no. no. Uh, And that's for me, for uh, both of us, for both of us because this one was a really easy one. Uh, and that's actually Salador's son. Uh, so Salador's son is of course the, the famous uh, pirate leader, a uh, good friend of Davos Seaworth. Yeah, there's not really a lot to discuss here, right? No. So the major character we're still missing from the books. Yeah. Also a major character from the the film series as well, TV series. So yeah, he he's been there every time. When, I uh, think uh, the pirates win win one more. Arr. Well, yeah, you've got Lucian Selsworth already in there. It would be cool yeah. to, to have Yogi like is the leader, so uh, like another unit or something in there, or indeed uh, accompany them with like an attachment that he yeah. can actually lead them, so to say. I think this is the biggest miss of uh, yeah the faction Baratheon in Salador Sun. If you compare them with the other ones, there you already have a Seaworth, you already have yeah a, a Tyrell something. You know, you know now, Tyson, that you're. You, it's it's not me, yeah. It's now YouTube that's gonna kill you because there are, there are so many more characters. But some of their song indeed is an important one. It's not the most important one we're missing for Baratheon. Yes. What's the most important one then? I think if we just throw everything away, every Baratheon player wants to see a Royal Baratheon miniature. No matter if we play this game 
before his death or after his death, everyone wants to have a Robert Baratheon yeah. miniature. So okay, okay. <laughs> let's make this the bonus part. <laughs> but that's the that's the thing, you guys. Let, let's okay. You're right. That, that that's right. Let's make this the bonus part. <laughs> we want Robert Baratheon. It would be cool. I think there were rumors back in the day that yeah. there was like a sort of historical version. Is, of the game. Yeah, the, what is it? And the, there will become a box or a box coming out soon with an historical version. Younger Ned, Daemon Targaryen, uh, what is it? The Mad King, maybe even, uh, yeah. and a young Robert indeed, so that you can play this game as well during Robert's Rebellion, uh, which still would be cool. And I think a lot of people already in the community made like cards for him as a commander and you can just put him in the king's card yeah want. so uh, yeah that's really cool that let's be, uh, uh, let's put that up there Sc scratch the title five roll breath and uh, take all five spots uh, and that's our second list we, okay we yeah have, we have, sure you have two lists yeah the, re the official <laughs> one and the unofficial one is five times roll breath in fair enough do you okay i'll argue with this for now Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, so far and also enjoying this series and our battle reports and everything else on our channel. Yeah. Uh, if you like, uh, yeah. uh, subscribe to our channel, like the videos you, you like, share share our content, that's all, all, always really helpful commenting as well. If you want to support us even more, for a cup of coffee a month or uh, even more, you can do that on Patreon, I don't have to explain this to, to you guys. Uh, thank you very much for supporting our channel so far, we've been growing. Uh, quite rapidly rate, uh, lately and we've uh, surpassed uh, 2,000 subs, 2,100 subs, 250,000 views already. Uh, we're Straight. seeing a lot of views, over 10,000 views a month. Uh, it's been overwhelming for us lately. Yeah. So I want to give out a big shout out to you guys and uh, thank you for supporting and believing in our channel exactly. and uh, appreciating the content we make for especially some of Ice Fire but also the other content we do and the uh, events we organize. And uh, on that bombshell, uh, as always, uh, happy hobbying!